Give me sexy face. Give me. Oh. <laughs> and now presenting Rum DMT featuring John Aaron Awesomeness Booze. All right. Today we actually have a very intriguing drink. It's called the Gentleman's Discussion. Yes, I should probably on the table. Yes, yes yeah, very, very, very proper. All right. <coughs> This is a rum DNC drink. It's a drink that took me almost three or four months to finally figure out figure the final out the final formula. You know? Formula. It went yeah. through a lot of um, different um, marks, if you, if I may say. Um, and yeah, this is the one that actually worked the best. And uh, this is, it has some Zyram. We use this a lot of vanilla flavor. You guys. Delicious, delicious. Like, here one, use the vodka we always use, you know, this stuff. Let's start. This is awesome. Cool little wrapping. This is out of the packet yeah, in the old days. Yeah, the the reason that it comes with this wrapping is uh, originally they, you know, they would label their bottle and they would wrap it in this big twine to ship it to protect the bottle. Uh, and then they just stopped taking off the wrapping when they would unpack it. Uh, and so, once they stopped unwrapping it, they just started putting the labels on the outside, and it just became this, like, cool identifier for their brand. Uh, and then we also have the Luxardo Maraschino Cherries, uh, for garnish. We are making drinks today for you. Yes. With cup, mixing glass, stirring spoon, because this is just three nice, clear liquor ingredients, and we're serving a coupe with a garnish pick for the chip. Shall we? We shall. Let's make a drink. Okay, so uh, first we're going to start chilling our coupe. If you have like a fridge or a freezer on hand for it, you can just stick it in there. We're just going to stick some ice in ours. that chill, and then we're also going to get some ice for our mixing glass. Next, we have the vodka. Three quarters. So what's a rum DNC drink without rum? We got three quarters of an ounce of Zaya. Okay, next we have uh, the Luxardo. It's the Maraschino Leco. Got a half ounce of that. Next we are going to stir this. We don't want to shake this because it's going to start watering down the drink too much. So stir technique, you always want the back of your bar spoon to be up against the glass and you can just kind of get this rhythm where you're swirling everything in the glass without cracking all the ice. You want to make sure it's thoroughly stirred so that your drink is thoroughly chilled. Okay, that's good. Ice. Goodbye! Then we're gonna strain into the coupe. Alright, so we're garnishing with a uh, maraschino cherry. We've got actual maraschino cherries, not those bright red, like, fire truck ones that you find elsewhere. Stick one on there. In it goes. <laughs> so we were just having a gentleman's discussion here about this topic. And I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, what's going on? This delicious drink. Should we 